Hi friends, in this video we are going to see construction of a transformer. There are two basic parts. First is magnetic core. and second windings or coils so let's discuss magnetic core first so in a transformer magnetic core is like this this is called as a limb this is also limb and this is called as a yoke now what is the job of this magnetic core core provides path for magnetic flux so maximum flux will be passing through this core hence there are two types of losses that will occur inside the core and those losses are hysteresis and eddy current together these losses are called as a magnetic losses or ion losses now we need to construct or make a core such a way that these two losses are as low as possible how we can get that through design so let's discuss how to minimize hysteresis loss so generally core is made up of high grade silicon steel this is the best magnetic material how to choose the best magnetic material magnetic material with high permeability this is what is provided by this high grade silicon steel it's a high permeability material earlier core is made up of iron but now due to advancement in material science we can get a high permeability magnetic material so that hysteresis loss is very low so why we need this core made up of a high permeability material in order to minimize hysteresis losses second loss is eddy current so how to reduce eddy current loss we make core which is made up of thin laminations
in order to minimize eddy current losses because eddy current is happening because of a width high width material so what we are doing over here we are providing the thin laminations of 0.5 or 0.7 mm so that we can have a width very very less and now this thin laminations we can put one over the other to form a stack and these laminations are insulated from each other by insulation called as varnish so how to form a core so this core is actually made up of thin laminations of high magnetic material like this and these laminations are insulated from each other by varnish so this is how core is formed let's go to next part that is winding or coils so windings are wound over limbs of core like this so these are the windings this is called as a primary winding because we are going to connect a supply to this and here since load will be connected we we'll call this as a secondary winding so what is the job of this winding windings carry primary and secondary current so electric current passes through windings so we need a material which will have less resistivity so we will use copper for carrying the current so windings are made up of copper and are wound on the limbs of magnetic core so there will be many number of turns on this limb so obviously there is a risk of touching two subsequent turns but that we are going to avoid with the help of insulation so remember these windings are insulated from each other since there is a length area of cross section and some resistivity for this material hence there will be some resistance at the primary as well as secondary side so current is passing through this resistance give rise to i square r losses so windings are subjected to i square r losses which are also called as copper losses so based on the arrangement of core and windings we have two types of transformer
तो फर्स्ट टाइप इस कोर टाइप ऑफ ट्रांसफार्मर तो कोर टाइप ऑफ ट्रांसफार्मर इज लाइक दिस this is core and these are windings this is secondary winding and this is primary winding now what is so special about this here if you see core is inside and then we have windings so i can say the winding n circles the core or you can say core is surrounded by winding Let's see another type of transformer. That is shell type. So this is core, and we have. Windings like this. So what happened? Here we are having two magnetic circuits. This is a false magnetic circuit. and this is second magnetic circuit so here if you see what happen there is a core outside and windings are inside so i can say the core encircles the windings or in other words you can say windings are surrounded by core so if you see the structure properly there are some differences between these two first is obviously based on the construction second this is having only one magnetic circuit whereas this shell type is having two magnetic circuits suppose i want to replace the windings it is very easy over here just to take this part of a core outside then take the windings out and replace but replacing windings over here is not a easy job so based on the arrangement of core and windings we have seen two types of transformer normally very high voltage transformers are of shell type thank you